Hey, what is up everybody? This is Rob. It's time for another product review. So you guys may remember Screen Protect. Screen Protect, they do make the awesome screen protectors that I had done a review on install for on my Tacoma. They do also sell those screen protectors for a variety of other cars and trucks. However, they did reach out to me if another product they have, and this is specifically for the Tacoma. So if you have a tier D off-road Tacoma, or I think some of the other Tacomas might come with it, they do have that sort of black film around the pillars. Now that black film is supposed to be essentially to help, you know, give a little bit of protection there for say you're driving through the brush and the twigs are hitting it. So that way, you know, it's the uh, vinyl that takes all of the hits versus the paint on your doors. But what if you want to protect that vinyl just so that you don't have to worry about replacing it if it gets beaten up? Well, that's when Screen Protect came in and they're actually selling these, uh, you know, pillar vinyl covers. So they're pretty cool. So they do have two options. So as you can see, you probably can't see anything at all because these are pretty much clear. So these are clear matte protectors. So these are very good for if your Tacoma is brand new, you know, you haven't gotten any scratches on it yet and you just want to start protecting it immediately. However, let's say it's been a year or two. Let's say you've already gone through the trails. You already did bang them up a bit. So now you're going to have some scratches, some scrapes, some scuffs, and you want to cover those up. Well, they do sell this nice darker version, basically a heavy black version, just to cover the existing scratches while still adding in some new protection. Now these are very solid products are offering and just like with the screen protectors I had mentioned earlier, they do come with everything you need to install them. You know, they do come with the spray bottle. The spray bottle actually already has soap on the bottom, so just add water, shake it up, you're good to go. As well as of course the cloth and the squeegee to use with it. That's pretty much all you guys are gonna need, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna install both of them. I have two Tacomas behind me. So we're going to put the clear one on one Tacoma and the heavy black on the other. So then we're going to go ahead and see how they look. So guys, let's go ahead and let's get to it. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and install this. So remember, guys, whether it's the matte clear or the very black vinyl, it's going to be the same installation instructions either way. So first things first, you want to mist up where we're going to apply it to using the spray bottle that they gave us. I did already have a sub solution in it, so shake it up surface nice and slick. Put that down for a second. Now I'm going to go ahead and peel off what we're using. So make sure you're using the right side. The correct side I should clarify. So that's going to go right there. Let me put this away just so that this part's safe. All right, spray gun. Remember guys, when it's nice and slick, you can move it around. So it's you just hear him and open up this door. So I recommend lift up the rubber for your window trim. I'll make it easier to slip it in. So right there for now, we'll just keep it right there. And now I'm gonna get our trusty squeegee wrapped in a cloth that they gave us. Let's get that in there. Just tuck it all up under there, slide it in as needed. The corners are always going to be the hardest part due to the rounded edge. All right, so I managed to slide it in there. Just Help, help this small part over here just a little bit. There we go. I do also recommend if you do have a leftover trim tool, you know, go ahead and use that. But you can usually just go ahead and use a squeegee also. I'm just going to get under it again. And there we go. Get that under, get that under. All right. So now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to start working on all of this. So we're going to go ahead and wet the surface here. Just to be extra sure squeegee doesn't scuff. Let's wipe it down all the soapy water out. 
and you're pretty much just gonna work at it. You know, just keep going till all the soap and water is out. Make sure everything is in properly. Go on the surface. Just keep squeegeeing it up. It's gonna be pretty much a perfect fit to the actual vinyl, which is also good. Just gonna run that up a little bit, and there we go. So yeah, just like this, guys. We're just gonna keep on working at it. You know, do you wanna make sure to tuck the corners in on the inside? So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna finish up on this, probably take another five to 10 minutes, just let the water, you know, get them out of there, let this kind of drown a little bit. Then I'm gonna show you guys comparison with the matte clear and the very black, as well as how it looks next to the normal vinyl. So and let's get to that. All right, you guys, so now come in closer and check this out. So this is the very black vinyl. There's nothing applied to this vinyl. So as you can see, it's actually a pretty close match, actually. You know, this is really good for hiding scratches. You know, if you already scratched this up, you might as well throw this on top and, and it looks good. You know, it definitely helps, keeps it covered, definitely protects it, and you can hardly even tell it's there. And I mean, it's just, it looks basically like the OEM vinyl. It's just a nice way to cover it up. And then let's go to this side. And as you can see, the matte clear, uh, please excuse some of these bubbles. Honestly, it's getting dark, so I just, um, I'll probably iron out these bubbles later. Just wanted to show you guys before it got too dark so you can see the matte here. It definitely did change the look of the vinyl. So remember, here's the bare vinyl, the bare OEM vinyl. A little bit darker, definitely gets a little bit more of a matte finish. I I definitely think that, uh you know, they're both very worthwhile options to check out. You know, being that my Tacoma, the vinyl is pretty much still brand new. The matte would be fine. But I can also understand that for some people, you might be needing this because maybe it's very beat up on the vinyl already, so you want to cover up all those scratches. You know, in, in terms of install, I mean, they're both gonna be pretty easy. I will say, you know, if you've ever installed a clear stuff, clear screen protectors, that kind of stuff, you know that you have to worry a bit more about getting dirt and lint underneath. You won't have to worry about that with this, because if any lint or anything gets underneath, you're not gonna see it. So, I mean, Overall, guys, I think this is definitely a product to look for if you're the type who really wants to protect everything in your Tacoma, you know, really want to keep the OEM vinyl, uh, you know, keep it intact and keep it good, you know, give it and give it a little bit more strength in terms of sticks and rocks and other stuff that might hit it. So with that, guys, um, you know, thanks again to Screen Protect for, you know, making a, you know, such a great product. Also, be sure to check out the screen protectors I mentioned earlier. I do have a coupon code, guys. Use the coupon code Rob's Autos for a discount on Screen Protect's website. They do make screen protectors for all kinds of cars. This vinyl protector is only for the Tacoma. So with that, guys, this is Rob, and have a good one.